Hi guys, welcome to day four of Vlogmas. I think Milo is going to be on camera today just because his advent calendar is out. Now we did put a post up <coughs> about an hour ago to say this was going to be a live stream but we've just clicked on to go live and it won't let us do it so we're just going to record a normal YouTube video. Um, yesterday Samuel edited my video and he did a fantastic job of editing the video. He um, It was really good. He had all captions in there and music and everything and it was fantastic and then it just would not upload so we had to upload the unedited version um as usual warts and all it just didn't work so and i was saying one two three the whole time yeah. which i used to edit so if you if you do watch yesterday's video which has only gone up today there will be bits in there where he was putting his little reminders as to where he was going to edit things out Okay, so we're going to share with you our advent calendars today. Um, Milo, I think, was desperate to open his advent calendar. Do you want to open yours? Oh, yes, please. Oh, you want to open your advent calendar, please. So me. here we've got Milo's advent calendar, which we showed in yesterday's video. And then we're going to show you some things that we've made and maybe talk about some of our Christmas traditions. And some of the things that we've brought. Yeah. Um, and we might show you the lounge tray. Yeah. Somebody wants to show you our lounge Christmas tree. Right, Milo, you want to help? Right. I'll put them on camera first. Mom, can you put right, one so of them? He gets, he gets two of these little treaties. Every single day. Oh, is that good, Milo? Okay. Right, I'll go and put this away now. Is that nice? Mm -hmm. Now, Myla hasn't done any knitting today, have you, My? No, not today, Mum. Just don't have sleeping. Right. Are you staying here, Milo? He might stay here for stream. Or not sit on his chair? Sit on chair. Oh, no. Oh, I can put you on a higher one. No, he's going to sit there. Mm. Well, Samuel, do you want to do your advent calendar first of all? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do these two. Okay. All right. Uh, day four. So Samuel's got a normal commercial advent Short calendar as well. That everyone probably has. Just a nice Cadbury's advent calendar. I think Milo's a bit put out. He hasn't got this one. The old doggy groomers he used to go to, they used to sell doggy chocolate, but he didn't like that groomers. It was in a uh, like a shop and he hated going there. So, so today there's a snowman. Is it the snowman? Yeah, it's a snowman with a hat on. Oh, yeah. And look, they've got a nice knitted hat in there. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Should I do mine? Yeah, do mine. Well, shall we start with the bunny? Do you want to get the bunny? Yeah. I've had lots of name suggestions for bunny. I quite like the name Clementine. She's over there because it's quite a festive name, isn't it? So again, wrapped up in lovely Santa paper, number four. Oh, okay. Do you want to read the label for Clementine? Clementine. Mm. Or Clemmy. Clemmy. Time to get dressed. Keep Bunny's cotton tail warm with these knickers. Lovely cotton knickers. I don't knickers. think a boy should read this. <laughs> these look like these have come from Marks and Spencers. I know uh, Very posh. Very posh. I know Paula's bunnies and teddies normally get their knickers from Marks and Spencers. Oh, get your big bum in there, Clemmy. I think she's been on the mince pies already. Get your bum in. Hold on. Yeah, no, I'll just okay, I'm being organised. This is going to be a long video today. We're hoping for half an hour. <laughs> so there's Clemmy with her beautiful Nick Nick song. Oh, they're pretty. They've got lovely lace. Sorry, Clemmy, showing everybody your knickers. But at least you have got something on now. Not flashing your bits to the world. Lovely. Are they from Marks and Spencers? They are. I've got some good news today. What's that? My hair isn't sticking up like yesterday's <laughs> vlog. Ooh. Right, don't put Clemmy back over there with Lily. Oh, right. show Lily. Show they, Lily? Saw, they saw Lily the other day. Right, who should we do next? Should we do Green Lambikin or Dandelion or... Do Dandelion because it's closest to So you. Dandelion and Dogwood. So I looked up just now and the wrap or shawl I fancy making is called Winchester Rose by Debbie Ford. Huh? I'm just going to show you guys my right minute so you can see where my is. Oh, what's in there? Oh, another pretty pink one, pink oh, that's and yellow. Very nice. I can't read what that says. Can you guys read at home? I can't read what that one says. Um, I don't, I don't know. know. 
Oh, I can't doing... read that one. Um, oh, but it's very pretty. More peaches and lemons, speckles of brown. A bit of pink. A bit of pink. Yeah, so the shawl I want to make is called Winchester Rose by Debbie Ford. It's on Ravelry. Have a look at it. It's really pretty. Right, next one we've got green lambikin. Green lambikin yarns. And let me just show you what I've done on my cow so far. Or my cow. Not a cow, is it? <laughs> so I've done quite a bit on that now. So I've, been, I've run out of yesterday's yarn. I've got about two inches left. Um, but this uh, Drifts of Snow continues until this whole piece measures 15 centimetres. So it's definitely going to take, to yes, I know, darling. It's definitely going to take today's yarn as well, isn't it, Milo? Are you in the video, Milo? Are you helping? Good boy. This is unusual. For yes, I know. I love you too. Your viewers don't usually have this camera angle. No. No, it's not pretty, is it? Oh, look at this! Right. Oh, look, oh, another nice. beautiful pink. I'm loving this. Okay, uh, who gives the brownies all their spice? So this is a musical one. That's lovely. A lovely sparkle again, and we've got a lovely hot chocolate. I've got a hot chocolate. In, oh, I've got a hot chocolate in my um yarn badger one so we've got two hot chocolates so we can both have a hot chocolate later samuel mm, sounds nice mm. Mm. it's a fair trained hot chocolate but that's lovely that's going to go nice so i will wind that up when we finish this video that's nice right, isn't next. it oh midnight diary so i just say show my sock i did a little bit more of my sock last I'll night and this down. morning do I do a bit so Maybe later. Oh, you've live have a bit of live knitting, so which means I'll have to edit it out. No, no I'll have to speed it up. No, because of yesterday. So, number okay. four. This video might be an hour. Color. We're walking in the air. We've lost our underwear. So, there. I'm feeling rather blue. <laughs> I need to have a poo. Oh, Samuel. <laughs> We're I need to have a lumpy dump while uh, Samuel's got the hump. Samuel, excuse my son, horrible child. Excuse you. So this one's got cream and orange and green. And this one says, Samuel, are you going to read it? No, just let them read no. it at home. We'll Pause the video now. We'll read no, it. No, shush, no, noisy yeah. box. At the grand old age of 35, that's Gemma, not me, although I know I look very useful. I honestly say there's not a single Christmas I can remember where this wasn't everywhere. And in a world where the youth describe 90s as vintage, I reckon this can definitely sneak in. It was released 39 years ago. Is now a good time to hint that my 12 days boxes next year will be a celebration of the snowman on its 40th anniversary. We might as well show this as well. Longer video. So slightly different colour today. Right, next, and we've then got the Bon Mama Jam. Bon Mama Jam advent calendar. Mum, do you want me to switch your camera angle for you yeah. opening it? Okay, lay it down. Find number four. Oh, oh no, I think I've shaken this. I've probably moved all the jams. There's number four. Oh, I think I had this one last time. She can read that. This one is Apricots and Bergamot. Well, the picture looks like apricot and a lime. What, let me see. It looks like, like yeah, apricot and a lime. I know that was very nice yesterday. Right there. It was very, uh, very nice last year. I'm having this on toast, toast and butter. It's very, very nice. nice. Very nice. Right, Samuel, are you going to do your advent calendar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then those, and then those, and then those. And, uh, and then Samuel's brought lots of things to show you today. I'm going to pause the video and go and get yourself a cup of tea. And we've got the lambs to show you. Yeah, I'm going to nick while Samuel's showing this. Or do you want me to angle the camera down for you? Oh, oh you're okay, probably, aren't you? So, number four. Number four is here. It has a nice Christmas tree on it. I think you can already tell. So, we've got a bath bomb and a, a lovely snowflake. And then we've got the best quality street ever. Your favourite chocolate, isn't it? And did you hear that Quality Street are doing new paper wrapping? 
Mm. Awful, I used to like Rose's chocolates. I don't like them anymore because I don't like the uh, wrappers that are on them. They're not the same. Can you put that back, please? Okay. Right, what else do you want to show everybody, Samuel? Now you've got a mouthful of Rose's chocolate. Um, uh, 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 uh. Okay. What you well, many years ago, um, I do love a charity shop find, and I'll often go into charity shops and look for glasses or china, um, sometimes books, but I'm a bit fussy about books, and sometimes bits for my lunar lapping. <clears throat> Um, and I did actually find something for my lunar lapping last week in the charity shop, but it's still in the car, so I will show you that at a later point. And I did get some books the other week in the charity shop, so I will show you those. But many years ago, I got this teapot from a charity shop. I'm not sure where we were. We were on holiday somewhere. But it was a nice um, Christmas teapot with a snowman and a wreath on the door, lots of snow. Wouldn't that be somewhere nice to live in a house with snow? So that's my Christmas teapot. I don't use it as a teapot because I think I tried it once and it didn't pour very well. It was a bit, a bit of a messy pourer. All right. Uh, last week, I think it was, my brother-in-law sent me a present. I've got lots of countdowns. I've probably got a countdown in every room. And this is Christmas at the Stanfords, and it's got a wooden reindeer that every day you move the reindeer down. Sorry? Say so why it says Stanford. Well, it says Stanford because it's our surname. <laughs> people are just going to think. Okay. I'm sure people could work that out. Did you just kiss that, Milo? You tried it. Right. Okay. okay. Right, now you show the other bits and I can knit. Okay. So then, Samuel's brought some bits to show. And then you can see a bit of knitting from Lindsay. A bit of live knitting. Who made these? My cousin's husband I'll made go and these. Turn the... No, leave the washing machine, it's okay. fine. It might be beeping. So, so my cousin, uh, they live in Wales and they have got a craft shop in Wales. And my cousin's husband made these. Um, little reindeers for us with our names on. So this one is for my dad, this one is for me, and then this one is for my mum. He also has made you one or two, one uh, medal holder for your dancing, hasn't he? Um, and he made one for his dance partner at the time, it's to hang all his medals on. My friend Wendy bought Samuel a, a medal holder, but we filled that up quite quickly so my cousin's husband made him another one okay what else are you going to show us oh you can do it no you do it so who brought these for you you know who made them now but who who did you think made them for you grandma no who did you think ah, nobody saw what i just dropped a reindeer on the floor we no. can talk about her in a minute <laughs> we we'll talk about a reindeer with a broken leg yeah i hope that's not rudolph Right, so uh, you met the elf. So many years ago, I made lots and lots of elves for Elf on the Shelf because I didn't like the normal one. And then our Elf on the Shelf used to get up to lots of nice mischief, didn't he? We never had a naughty Elf on the Shelf. But our Elf on the Shelf has now retired, hasn't he? So he lives with us all year round. And we've got my grandma's as and well. And we've got grandma's we've Elf got on the Shelf. We've got one up there. Yeah, one up there that you can't see from this angle. You've seen him though, he's sitting next to the drunken, uh, to no, the, no, that's sitting the, next to the Christmas pudding man. And then that's a drunken, drunken turkey. Santa, drunken turkey. Yeah. And then one year, uh, Green Toes, which is Samuel's elf, made all these little mini elves that came back to, to live with us. Well, my grandma well, actually. My grandma made them really, my mum. She made all these little elves and they now hang on our tree, but they used to do things with um, Green Toes, didn't they? They would play twist or have a picnic and things, wouldn't they? Mm. Yeah. So how many did she make? She made six. And this one looks like green toes, doesn't it? These last two look a bit like green toes. Mm. They're cute, aren't they? Where should I hand this one? Well, I'd love to share a finger. Right. We never had a naughty elf, did we? No. No, because people do. You don't want to spoil it for people. Phone's going. Okay. Mom, can you talk about the reindeer with a broken leg? Oh, right. I'll be back in five minutes. Okay. So. This is the reindeer Samuel wanted to show you. Oh, with an elf on it. Well done. 
sorry, he's getting very excited about doing this. He didn't want to do this when I asked him to come and do this with me on Friday. He didn't want to do it, but he's loving it now, as you can imagine. <laughs> we are going to make a Christmas uh, a cake this afternoon in our Christmas tree mould. So, yeah, I'm loving this sock though. It's such lovely wool and it's got a sparkle. I am. Um, I really enjoy knitting it. I definitely, I couldn't just do one stripe a day. As you can clearly see, I couldn't just knit one stripe a day. It's just addictive, isn't it? Yeah, oh, Someone's has got my mum on the phone now. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, I think someone's going to come back now. So Samuel, come and tell everybody about... Did you talk about the... I did. What's South? What's your favourite Christmas film to watch? You don't really like watching films, do you? But what's your favourite film to watch that makes um, you really laugh? Christmas with the Cranks. And what's my favourite Christmas film? Elf. No, my other one. I don't know. You do, because you're dancing to it. Polar Express. Polar Express. I love that film. And as I said yesterday, Samuel's dancing to the theme tune of Polar Express next weekend, aren't you, in your dancing yeah. show? And we went on the Polar Express the, um, December... Um, 2019 so just before lockdown we had a lovely Christmas that year we went to Lapland UK didn't we yeah. which was amazing that was fantastic and we went there early I think we went there in November time but that was well worth it um and then we went to well, we went on the Polar Express oh, a, talking about that just land. before Christmas literally just before Christmas you can show that it's a dog oh, this is a special bauble we got from Lapland UK. So we don't hang this on the Christmas tree. As it could easily it could break. break. Oh, but it's got a lovely little Christmas cottage inside. Do you want to put that back very but carefully? Can the no, because we can show things. We've got lots of days to go, haven't we? We've yeah. still got another 20. Yeah, but odd. I haven't, I haven't well, you can join in things. other weekends, can't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then when you break up from school, you can join in if people want to see you. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, watching Mum sew. I'm not sewing. What, what's it called? Knitting. knitting. <laughs> I didn't manage to get my dress um, put together the other day, so it's all cut out, so I will get that put together. I'm talking about my dress. Oh my god. Okay. They can't hear us. No, they can't hear us. I'm not sure if they can't actually hear us. I know. Ah. Yeah, so I've got to make a dress as well. Okay. But I don't think I'll wear my dress with these socks. Although it could be a good look. It'd be a talking point, wouldn't it? Mm. I do keep threatening to dress up as a reindeer or a snowman and turn up on the school playground for Samuel. <laughs> He'd love it, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, unfortunately then... There, again, as always, there'll be no edits, but Milo's been a very good boy today and hasn't um, been barking. He's sleeping. Been a very good boy today. So this will just be whacked up onto YouTube and then I'm going to prepare dinner. We've still got a few things to That's do. That's right, we'll do other things. I'm going to prepare dinner. While I'm preparing dinner, Samuel is going to... Make the cake. No, for... you're going to do your homework, aren't you? So I'm just well, preparing the vegetable. Well, I'll have. find out in a minute. I'll prepare okay. the vegetables, sort the washing out. My house looks like a Chinese laundry. It's a nightmare. And then we're going to film making the cake. And then we're going to film making the cake. So I think we're going to go for a carrot cake. Oh, if you didn't watch part one, or Vlogmas Day 3 even, go and watch it. But we'll show you what we're making it in, just in case. Right, there you go, Mum. So Samuel goes to a cookery course, a lady I used to teach with in a secondary school, she's retired now and she has her own little um, Christmas, uh, her own cookery school at her house and Samuel's been going since April, May? Uh, since Jubilee. Since Queen's Jubilee he went and did a cupcake lesson which he loved and then he's been going, you've done two terms have you? Mm, yes, yeah, two like terms that. after school of cooking and it's fantastic isn't it you cook one week you cook a meal and the other week you cook a dessert but this term it's all been christmas in so you've made a christmas cake haven't you yeah and you've been feeding that every week with sherry is it yeah sherry and then the lessons are longer now they're two hours aren't they so every yeah. week you've made other things you've made mince pies i'll go and get a book if i know where it is Karen talking. He's made. Evan, in a minute, I'll put the lights on in the lounge and make it look nice. So he's 
So he's made mince pies, he's made a spice um, Christmas tree cake, he made a Yule log last week, uh, the week before. I think next, this Wednesday, I think we're getting a, a sausage roll. And um, and then I suppose you'll be marzipan and sausage roll wreath. So that was the Christmas cake tree that he made. That was really nice. You might as well show everything in no. the book. He made a chocolate log, yule log. That was lovely. That was so rich. So we can do that again. Mince pies. He actually used the same recipe that I use. I always put orange um, zest. zest in my pastry. And then that's his Christmas cake, which obviously we haven't got yet. So we're going to have lots of Christmas cakes, which will please my brother immensely and my brother-in-law. They'll be very happy if there's a selection of Christmas cakes. Okay, are you... You won't be able to put the lights on because they're on timer. Yeah, but like, no. I will like... I tell you what, Samuel, you can do a short... No. Listen, no. no. You've already done a short here. Right, we're going to go. Come say goodbye to everybody. No. Yes. No. Yes. Don't argue. I do apologise. <laughs> Overexcited. Okay, well, let me know what you're crafting in the comments down below. And um, I can't wait to wind up that little bit of wall today. I was so tempted last night to wind it up because I finished that quite early yesterday afternoon. Not long after we finished filming, I finished knitting that and I was like, oh, can I wind up another ball? Can I wind up another ball? And I know I'd said I might get a 20 gram mini next year for this one, but I don't think I will because a 10 gram is just enough to do in the day. And I like the idea of a cow. And I don't, a 20 mini, why do I call it a 20 milligram? 20 gram mini might be too much to knit in a day. These um, ones from Dandelion and Dogwood are 20 grams. Um, but I was so tempted to wind, to open this and wind it up yesterday. But I was a good girl. Obviously, I can't follow the rules on my sock because what day are we on on the sock, Samuel? How many stripes have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Sorry about seeing just my twenty, hand. twenty-one, twenty-two. It's day twenty-two. <laughs> That's so sweet, Samuel. Okay, put it back up there. Okay, so are you showing them the tree? Yeah, and I'll show All them. All right, them. will you do that then? Okay, Samuel's just going to quickly show you the trees and we'll see you this afternoon to, uh, making a carrot cake. So we didn't say the reason why we couldn't do a live stream. Oh, it just said it wasn't available. No, it said it? you have like a community strike. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's what Thomas got, so he can upload the night. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we've got enough people, enough subscribers. Yeah, you have, because mm -hmm. it might have uh, made it go down to 50. No, I don't know. And that's, and because. Um, I don't know. Show them the tree thing. Well, I'll show them this, which is behind us in our video. I'll see you later, guys. See you later. Happy crafting. So this is the tree that we got here. What is this white tree called? It's just a white twiggy tree, isn't it? With yeah. all my handmade things on there. So, along when did we go to Megan? Oh, uh, about three weeks ago. So three weeks ago, Mum brought this hand felted mount which was handmade mm -hmm. and it's on skates and did you make these other one or did you get them from stitch by mrs yeah, day oh St is stitch by mrs day paula yeah stitch by so mrs. We, paula. what's the red one holly yeah and then this one looks like a gingerbread one gingerbread panda and then here we have oh a drunken reindeer, two drunken reindeers, and a Santa. And then as we go into the lounge, when the light's on, it looks magical, doesn't it, Mum? Mm -hmm. So here we have the big sofa. Don't you see sofa yeah, but... Trying to not get my hand in shot. I keep on getting messages. Here we have... I don't know what to call it, like a fireplace thing. And then here we have the lovely big tree. And then down here, we just got some candles and like a reindeer. And then we have some bells. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to keep on crafting.